I'm Michelle Phillips, a Google for Education certified trainer. In this video, we're going to look at the Google Site skills needed to do well on both the Level 1 and Level 2 Google Educator exams. For Level 1, we're going to look at how to create a site, how to add pages, text and images, how to insert docs and calendars, and how to control your permissions. You can title your page on the top left, which will then also change it on the header page. To change the image on your header, you can upload your own or select an image that's already created. You can change your header type to where it's a large banner, a regular banner, or title only. To insert text boxes and images, you can look at the insert menu on the right side of the screen and you can click on those or you can double click in the blank space and you can then choose images, text, URLs, you can upload it, something or get it from your drive. So if we add a text box you can then decide how big you want your text box to be. You can also select images and insert images can resize the images, can move the images, a new feature is to insert a divider to separate your areas. To add another page you'll want to go to the right side and click on pages and then you can click the plus sign which will add a new page. You can decide if you want your navigation settings to be on the top or the side. You can also move your pages around and reorder them. You can change your theme. And you can also insert things directly from YouTube. You can choose a calendar to embed. You can choose files from your Google Drive. You can go directly to the app doc slide sheets from here at the bottom. To preview it, you click on the I. To add editors, you would then decide, put their name down here, and they would have editing rights to your site. When you want to publish, it's going to ask you whether or not you want it to be available only in your domain or outside and whether it can show up in search results. You can also choose the a custom URL. For level two, we're going to look at how to add media to your site, how to arrange your sub pages, and how to customize your site. To add media to your site, you can click on YouTube, and then you can actually search YouTube, or you can look at your uploaded YouTube videos. Looking at your page options, when you click the more actions, you can set something as the home page, you can rename it, you can create a sub page, you can remove it, or you can hide it from navigation. So let's choose create sub page. This page will actually be underneath the second page and will show up when you hover over it in the navigation bar. You can customize your site by choosing on different themes and then choosing the different font styles. You can also change the color format. You can also have different header types on different pages. For your home page, you may want to have the larger header type with the large banner but your second page, you may want to have title only. The last customization will be when you publish and what you choose the URL site location to be. So for level two, we've looked at how to add media to your site, how to create sub pages, and how to customize your site. These were the skills needed to do well on the Google Sites portion of the Google Educator exams.